Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Clubmaster Metal Sunglasses. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing a Maui Gym hat or why I'm wearing a hat in general during a sunglass review. And that is because, unfortunately, our government has decided to close down all barbershops and hairstylists until May. So that means, unfortunately, my hair is an absolute disaster I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure that this mesh should be deemed as essential, but our government decided that this was not essential, and uh, I guess we're gonna have to lift the hat for a couple of episodes. So with all that being said, let's pop on these sunglasses and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 51 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge, and they only come in one size. With the original classic Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses, they come in a small and a large size. The large size is the 51 millimeter lens size, and the small size is a 49 millimeter lens size. But again, with this, you only have one size, and of course, that's the size that I'm wearing in today video. And for a quick little comparison, I have the original Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses right here. These are the classic sunglasses with 51mm lenses as well, so you guys can get a quick look at how these sunglasses look compared to each other. So here are the original classics, and then here are the Ray-Ban Clubmaster metal sunglasses, again with a 51mm lens size. So as you guys can see, as far as the styling and dimensions of these sunglasses go, they are both identical to each other. The only difference is the fact that these Ray-Ban Clubmaster Master metal sunglasses, of course, have metal frames rather than acetate. So on a classic pair of Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses, the front of the frames are going to be acetate, and the temples of the frames are also made out of acetate, where on these metal sunglasses, everything is made of metal here. So I think that adds a really cool look and feel to these sunglasses with the metal frames rather than the acetate. But as you guys can see here, Ray-Ban did create a very long ear rests here that are made out of acetate for comfort. So they feel very similar to the originals because they have fully adjustable nose rests that have RB logos etched in them. And then also a large portion of the temple is actually still acetate with these ear rests. So as far as everything that actually touches your face, they are all gonna feel very similar to a pair of original Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses. The biggest difference between these sunglasses and the originals are these metal sunglasses sunglasses are much heavier than the original sunglasses are, so they're going to be a little bit more uncomfortable on face, and if you wear these sunglasses for hours and hours at a time, they might leave red marks here on your nose. Just because that added extra weight does make a difference as far as comfort goes. As far as looks go, I do like the look of these. I really like the matte frames that I picked out on this pair, and the metal really does look really cool and adds a little bit of an extra style to the Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses, but personally, I do absolutely love the classic Clubmasters, so I think I'd choose those over these sunglasses, but that's just my personal preference. These sunglasses do the job just as well as those original sunglasses do. They, of course, are going to have a painted Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner for authentication purposes, and then also for authentication purposes, they're going to have an etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens. Now, unlike the original Clubmaster sunglasses, they don't have the etched lens size or bridge width here in the upper bridge of sunglasses, which is definitely interesting. As far as hinges go, these sunglasses have very nice and premium all-metal hinges, which feel very good when open up and when closing them. And if we take a look at the inner right temple sunglasses, we can see they say Ray-Ban made in Italy because all these sunglasses I believe are made in Italy. As far as lens quality goes, these sunglasses have very nice all glass lenses that are Ray-Ban's G15 lens, so that's the green gray lens, and they have very good light transmission and they are going to offer 100% UVA and UVB protection. And of course you can pick up a pair of polarized lenses if you want to spend an extra $50. Now as far as coverage from the sun goes, Unfortunately, the Clubmaster style isn't going to offer the best coverage. There are going to be pretty big gaps with sunlight in unprotected here off top, as you guys can see here. And then here on the sides of sunglasses, again, there's going to be a pretty big gap with sunlight in unprotected. And again, that's going to be expected on a Clubmaster style pair of sunglasses. They just never have the best coverage because of the style. Overall, I think it's a very decent pair of sunglasses. And I think you guys are definitely going to like these, especially if you already have a pair of Ray-Ban Classic Clubmaster sunglasses and you're looking to change it up a bit. I think you might like these sunglasses. Again, personally, I do like the classic ones just a little better because they have all the heritage. But if you're looking for something nice and new and want to change it up a little bit, I definitely would recommend these. As far as pricing goes, they're going to be a little bit steep, coming in at $166, I believe, with non-polarized lenses. However, you can get them much cheaper on Amazon. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you guys can check out these exact pair of sunglasses on Amazon for substantially cheaper. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you guys do a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But again, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all 
in the next one.